Uh, joining us right now here on the couch, we've got Republican Congressman James Comer. He's the chairman of the House Oversight Committee, and he's in Washington. He's not in Washington. You're here in New York City today. <laughs> yep. What brings you here? Well, we're just meeting with a lot of people, trying to meet new people. And uh, I'm here to also thank the Republican Party of New York. If it weren't for the overperformance of New York in the congressional elections last fall, we wouldn't have flipped the House. Yeah. Right. What, do, what do you make of, of the Hunter Biden uh, laptop defamation case today? This could probably be the first time he ever admits, yeah, yeah, that's mine. Well, I just think it's ironic because the media went all in on this is Russian disinformation for so long. There are still Democrats in Congress, if they only get their news from MSNBC, they really still don't know that the laptop is Hunter Biden's. Uh, they still think that it was compromised somehow. So the fact that the Bidens have denied that this was his laptop for so long and now they're going to have to admit it in court today, I think it's very ironic. What did you think of Gary Shapley's interview last night with Brett Baer? He said he was very frustrated. His team was hindered. The and he said, yeah, he said we're trying to investigate Hunter Biden. The DOJ prosecutors directed investigators to avoid asking questions about the no. big guy. We just we just heard in that report. I mean, this is another example of the Department of Justice meddling to uh, have a cover-up. This is a cover-up of public corruption at the highest levels. And if you go back to when we brought the general counsel for the National Archives in for a transcribed interview in the House Oversight Committee, they said the DOJ told them to stand down. Uh, we have FBI whistleblowers that Senator Grassley and I have worked with that said they were told to stand down on this investigation of Biden bribery. Now you have a two very credible IRS whistleblowers who have said the same thing. They started finding those shell companies that we've disclosed in the, in the House Oversight Committee. And I think they were on number five or number six out of 19, and they were told to stand down. So we have a situation here where our federal government has involved, has been involved in a cover-up. Uh, it's, it's generated by the Department of Justice, and it, it continues with this Hunter Biden plea deal. I mean, this is a slap in the face of every American who works hard and pays taxes and, and believes in our system of justice. Well, the president tries to vilify every chance he gets why he needed 87,000 more IRS agents right. because the rich have had it too good for too long. Here's Gary Shapley talking about the real amount that he knows that Hunter Biden should have been paying taxes on. Listen. Based on all of the financial records that we did find, you know, they've been, they've been analyzed. And it was around 8.3 million he received. Came from, from China, from CEFC came from Ukraine and from Romania. In the 2014 and 2015 tax years when the Burisma money was coming in, I mean, to this day, um, um, there's still around $400,000 of unreported income from Burisma in 2014. Hunter Biden was told by his partner, Eric Schwerin, that he needed to amend his returns, and he never did. So DC U.S. Attorney's Office declining those charges David Weiss requesting special counsel authority and being denied, and then the statute of limitations then expires in November or December of 2022. You're one of the few people who that's not news to because you knew about uh, this. You think 8.3 million is low? Is low. What is it? Well, it's going to be more than that. If if you look at all the money that the Bidens took in, I mean that's going to exceed 20 million dollars. The way they set these up in these shell companies, these LLCs, they were deducting basic living expenses as business write-offs when there was no business. There was no legitimate business. For example, Owasco was supposedly Hunter Biden's law firm account, but he didn't practice law. But that was an LLC for his law firm. That's where he wired money. There's suspicious activity reports where he wired to escort services. Uh, he paid his sex club dues right. in California, and he was uh, you know, paying for the pornography site, which is what triggered the IRS investigation to begin with. It was an audit, not of Hunter Biden, but of a pornography site. So this was his law firm, supposedly, wiring all this money. He was writing that off as basic business expenses. You can't write those things off as business expenses. So they got all this money in and they did not pay a penny of taxes on it. Right, and, and that's what Mr. Shapley was talking about, uh, tax evasion especially. Right. Regarding Hunter Biden, you, you just mentioned uh, nine members of the Biden family. Right. You've got bank records. It looks like they've taken in in excess of $20 million from foreign sources. I, I heard you yesterday refer to them as a crime family, and this was organized crime. So make it easy for us. What was the crime? Well, the crime is uh, trading policy for, for money. Uh, 
Which policy? Well, we're going to get into that. I mean, look, Joe Biden has, on day one, he changed our energy policy in America that uh, put China first and America last. He went in on day one and, and ended the China initiative, which was an investigation at all our public universities of a very organized Chinese spy ring where China was sending students to universities to steal our research and development. So you're saying because members of the, uh, the Hunter Biden family and the extended Joe Biden family got money mm -hmm. through various foreign entities, uh, including things like things from China, mm -hmm. that the president is compromised. Absolutely. Absolutely. How, how does he compromise? He's compromised because he's taken so much money from China. Right. Uh, when you go in and you end the China initiative, which every university president, even the most liberal university president said is a problem. These Chinese students are coming over here. Uh, they're, they're, you go in a research lab in any university, whether it's in Kentucky or in an Ivy League school, and there are Chinese students in there. They ended that because they said that was racial profiling, that was discrimination. But the university presidents, even the most liberal ones, right. wanted that. They ended that. That's what an example of a found? policy what decision. What else have you found? Because the panel has identified six policy decisions that indicate mm -hmm. he may have been compromised. We also think that he fired the prosecutor in Burisma. Uh, he bragged, about it. He he bragged about it. He's talked about it. That was beneficial to Burisma. <laughs> That's what the bribe in the FBI Form 1023 was all about. They wanted to right. uh, get Joe Biden to terminate that prosecutor because they were wanting to come to the United States and start an initial public offering, and they couldn't right. do it if they were under investigation in Ukraine. He repeatedly lies about the role he plays in this organization. Mm -hmm. Tony Bobulinski says they met yeah. at the Beverly Hilton Hotel, and they talk, says, take care of my family, good luck the rest of the way. He's yeah. never been asked, do you know who Tony Bobulinski is? Right. He set up all these international yeah. deals, and when they stabbed him in the back, mm -hmm. he came and did what he did. He told everyone the truth. So we know this, the CEFC Chinese contact, he would know a lot. Mm -hmm. Those tapes in Ukraine would tell a lot. Right. So what are you doing to get these people that have mm -hmm. disappeared? Well, we're going to start bringing people in for depositions. We're starting with Devin Archer. Uh, we'll hear from Bobulinski very soon. All the people that were on the inside of these so-called business deals, they're going to be able to tell exactly what the Bidens did in exchange for this money. And here's the big thing. They're going to tell what Joe Biden knew and how involved Joe Biden was in the family schemes. And I think that's the most important thing that will come out of the depositions. What did Joe Biden know and when did he know In it? the WhatsApp, he says, my family is better at delivering, Absolutely. to paraphrase, than anybody else. Mm -hmm. How many more WhatsApp messages are there out there? We think there are several more. But again... Have you asked Apple for them? Well, we're going to. We're going to request phone records. We're going to do a lot of subpoenas with respect to credit card rece right. receipts. I mean, there there is a lot of information out there that no one's tried to get. One thing you've, we've learned from all the whistleblowers is the federal government never investigated right. the Bidens for bribery. Regarding that WhatsApp message, that was after Joe Biden was out of office. That's right. So he was no longer vice mm -hmm. president. Do you have any evidence that, that shows that Joe Biden himself, I mean, mm -hmm. you're saying he's compromised, Joe Biden ever take money that you can figure out? You, you got, I know you're putting together yeah, all these right. big puzzle pieces. But do you have the goods on Joe Biden? When, yes. When Joe Biden was vice president, he went to Romania to talk about foreign policy and foreign aid. Days after he left Romania, while he was vice president, money started wiring to the different shell companies for the Biden family to the tune of a million dollars. Right. Twelve of 13 payments made from the Romanian foreign national to the Biden shell so companies So you've got the, you've got the financial records. Vice president. Do you have anybody who says the reason he's getting that money is because he did this? Stay tuned for these depositions. Is, You're going to be very interested in who these is, depositions. Who's responsible for this? Why does this family get a pass? Why are they able to get away with all of this? A lot of the whistleblowers have said the same thing. When I said, how do you justify this? How does the FBI justice justify this? How does the DOJ justify this? And they said, because they believe in their heart the alternative is worse. They hate Donald Trump. They don't want to see Donald Trump come back in office. Joe Biden, in their, in their mind, right. was a better deal than, than Donald Trump. And they have gone in well, why so they deep say something on covering years ago this up. They they're not going to stop. Then they could have found a different candidate. Yeah. But what's, what problem, uh, the problem is, is that William Barr was attorney general when that laptop was authenticated mm -hmm. by the FBI. Mm -hmm. Did Bill Barr know that? Did Donald Trump know that? Bill Barr was told that the laptop was Russian disinformation. Even though we know the FBI knew so it was... they lied to Bill Barr. They lied to Bill Barr. Did Christopher Wray lie to Bill Barr? I don't know that, but I know that Bill Barr was told 
the, the laptop was Russian disinformation. And remember, this is at a time when you had some conspiracy theorists around Donald Trump that were coming in and making lots of accusations. Some of them ended up being true, some of them didn't. But Bill Barr relied on the FBI to tell him, look, when, when they got this bribery form, this is all Russian disinformation. But we know in October they, they authenticated it. Right. So real quick, uh, Merrick Garland came out and said, I gave David Weiss total permission to do whatever he mm -hmm. wanted. We have proof with Shapley yeah. that, he, that they told a room of eight people, he, David Weiss said to eight people, I'm not the decider. Yeah. So did Merrick Garland lie last Thursday? Was he insulated mm -hmm. from the fact that two attorneys generals in yep. D.C. and L.A. said, you can't bring this case here? Who, what, how do you fill this gap? Somebody's what? line, either Merrick Garland's line or the IRS whistleblower's line. If I had to bet, I would bet that Merrick Garland's so line. So you're going to move on impeachment? If, if we can prove that Merrick Garland lied, I think Jim Jordan and Kevin McCarthy said last night on Hannity, we'll, we'll move towards Can't you just put him in a room with Weiss and say you're both telling I think that's stories. one of the options. Well, when you do that, let's televise it because everybody I, likes I to love it. it. You, right. uh, unfortunately, Fox is probably the only network that would televise well, it. So. I, you know, the thing is, I watched other networks carrying this story yesterday uh, to this morning. It's changing. It the is. media Absolutely has seen the poll and the uh, overwhelming majority of Americans are keeping up with this investigation and they want to know, right. is their president compromised? And they're in your face. Absolutely. He's yelling at you and Hunter Biden's going and smiling Very at obvious. you saying, bring it on. Very obvious. It's hard to explain how your grandchild gets a wire from a Romanian for a national while you're vice president. Yeah, he thinks he could do anything. Mm -hmm. And he thinks that everyone will just tolerate it. Well, you keep investigating, get some we'll answers, go. come back. You've got uh, a lot of answers. Happy to. Already. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so you all. much. Thank you. Keep it up. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.